the whole attic, certainly I can rebuild the solar system. Uh, there's, uh, there's no plumbing over there in the uh, space, is there? <laughs> okay, you're not laughing. <laughs> Michelle, when a person is honestly sorry, a big person will forgive them. But I'm a little person. Yeah, well, I'm talking about inside. Inside, I'm even littler. Sweetheart, by big, I mean a person who's generous and forgiving. Isn't that the kind of person you want to grow up to be? Okay. I forgive you. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Oh, that's my big girl. Come here, now do me a favor, would you? Run downstairs and put the sun in the juicer, okay? I'll be down in just a minute to join you. I'm glad you're all here. What's the big secret, Dad? If you called us down here to tell us that sweater's out of style, we've known for three years. It has nothing to do with this sweater. Now, you all know that Vicky has been working very hard on this dinner tonight. So if any of you happen to see anything that's, you know, new and unusual on your plates, taste it, experience it. And then if you still don't like it, choke it down. Boy, Dad, you got our mouths watering. This could be really nasty. I hope there's enough. <laughs> Dad, about that new and unusual food, I don't have a problem with the new, but I have some concerns about the unusual. Does unusual mean gross? <laughs> okay. You know how you two have uh, been asking for advances in your allowances? Well, how does two dollars sound? Not as good as five. <laughs> Okay, five it is, but you're gonna pay me back when you're 30. Can't believe I just did this. Okay, everyone, I hope you like it. Uh, Steph, can I give you a piece of pizza? Uh, sure. Um, what's that crumbly white stuff? Oh, that's goat cheese. What part of the goat is the cheese? <laughs> is it supposed to smell like that? Not that that's a bad smell. Oh, don't worry, the cheese is just a little ripe. The spaghetti's not. It's still green. No, honey, that's pesto sauce. It's supposed to be green. Yeah, yeah, you know green? Like a $5 bill? It looks great. Green's my favorite color. <laughs> so, Steph, what do you think of goat cheese now? Good food. Bad name. You know, I learned something today. If it comes out of a goat, I'm eating it. Well, what I hope Steve means is, this is one of the greatest meals we've ever had. That's yeah, the truth. Good. That's really good. Really good. Yeah. 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 Girls, girls, you can, you can take it down to about a four, okay? No, Dad, it really is great. I'd eat it even if you didn't pay us. <laughs> Danny? Mm -hmm. Did you pay these children to pretend they like my cooking? Well, not all of them. Beautiful family, it's nice to see you all. Good morning. I love you all in a very special way. Individually, that is. You're depressed. Depressed? Ha! I don't know the meaning of the word. I don't think Daddy does either. <laughs> I'll get this. I, I just talked to the lady from the bank, you know, Miss Cook, and she said after a little begging, she's going to give me another interview. In order to keep the Smash Club alive, I got to totally be prepared. So I'm going to find a book on on every code, uh, uh, building codes, health codes, municipal codes, area codes. If there's a code out there, I'm going to crack it. I'm glad you're happy again, Uncle Jesse. Ah, thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Uh, this is the life. Wait a second. This is a nectarine. I asked for a peach. See, this is bald. Try again. Nikki, did you find Waldo yet for me? No, Waldo. Keep looking. He's in there. Guys, I'm thirsty. Where's that water? Me, Lucia. 
Mom, I'm really dry. Me. <laughs> Boys, that was not very nice. It gets worse. They brought me the wrong fruit. They cleaned my room wrong. They brushed my hair wrong. Michelle, Michelle. <laughs> Honey, you know what? It, um, oh, it sounds to me like you're trying to turn your little cousins into your own personal servants. Is that how it sounds? Maybe I said it wrong. You know, Michelle, even though Nikki and Alex are little, they're still people, and we need to treat them with respect. I know, but it was so easy. <laughs> I'm sorry for being so bossy. Are you mad at me? Oh, can you guys give me a little push here? One. Oh, man, it's break time. Joey, Stephanie said I got ripped off. She did. Look at the giant action rigby they sent her. On the commercial, it was humongous. Well, uh, they do say TV adds about 10 pounds. So I did get ripped off. Oh, Michelle, uh... Hey, that just happens sometimes. Um, tell you what, let me uh, let me show you something, okay? When I was um, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a, a ventriloquist, right? So I I sent away for this, <clears throat> Mr. Talking. Look, his mouth is painted on. <laughs> so how are you, Mr. Talkie? Thank you, Mr. Talkie. Ah! Oh. So the point is, Michelle, everyone gets taken sometimes. You mean you can't do anything? Well, I think I saw an 800 number in the catalog. We don't have time to dial 800 numbers. <laughs> Michelle, you see, uh, we'll talk later. Come on, let's go make a phone call. Let's go, you guys. It's ringing. I'll put it on speakerphone. Hi. And welcome to Rigby the Rhino International. Press 1 if your Rigby pen is leaking. <laughs> Press 2 if your Rigby sticker turned everything in the wash orange. Remind me to cross those off my Christmas list. <laughs> Press 3 if you're dissatisfied with the size of your action Rigby. That's us. It's not the size of your action Rigby that's important. It's the fun you bring to it. Have a happy Rigby day. Have a happy Rigby day? The nerve of those guys, at least they could pretend to care. I spent all my tooth fairy money, and all I got was a hole in my mouth and a piece of junk. I got it. Hey, Denise. I got ripped off. Me too. Guys, you gotta give it up, because there's nothing you can do. Huh. There's plenty we can do. Rigby's at the mall today, right? Right. But I don't want to see him. Oh, we're going to see him, all right. In fact, we're going to get all your friends, and we're going to rattle that rhino's horn. Wow, Joey, you're steamed. Ooh, I hate that rhino. All right, here's what we're going to do, OK? We're going to go to the mall. Uh, how about this? All right. We dismantle the bikes. Uh -huh. We put all the parts down our pants, and we just walk right past everyone downstairs. Okay, all right, that's not bad, but here's a little twist. Okay. We don't touch the bikes, we don't touch our pants, and you get over there and shut up until Groundhog Day. What are all these bikes doing here? Your Uncle Seymour! I thought he was in Greece. Yeah. He doesn't look anything like me. The sideburns are totally unbalanced. In the pack. Where are you going? The slammer. These uh, posters have addresses on them. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, they do. I, I, you know what? This is perfect. You know what? We'll take all the bikes back to these addresses. We'll get everything back to normal around here, okay? Everybody grab a bike. Okay. All right. Go. Wait! The crime catchers are in the kitchen. All right, we'll go out the front door. Okay. Go. go. Come on, move it. Hey, uh, how come you don't have a bike? Because I'm carrying the flyers. Oh. Move, move, move. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. Hurry, 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 hurry. Shh. Okay, come on. Oh. So, uh, Jess, you think we can pull this off? Absolutely. Not. Uh, Joey, say off. Why? Perfect. <laughs> oh, Come on. Steph, Steph, let's move it. Shh. <laughs> she was calling for you, wasn't she, Joey? Yes, she was, Danny. <laughs> Could I play? I want to be DJ. Uh, no, no, no time for playing now. This is, uh, this is Leonard Schultz, Davy's father. Davy's father? Mm hmm I gotta go. Oh, wait, who's Davy? Somebody with a really big dad. Okay, we gotta get Davy's bike back before his dad smushes Uncle Jesse. You should see this guy. Whew. There'll be nothing left but a puddle of moose. So, so how do we get the bikes out of here? I've got a plan. Okay, but I'm not stuffing bike parts down my pants. <laughs>
job back in Greece. Oh, sweetheart, don't you remember? He used to be a fisherman. Hey, Danny. You remember when we were kids, we used to go fishing with your dad? Oh, uh, yeah, that was the life, wasn't it? Out on the rolling seas. I can still hear my dad's voice. Son, you ever been this nauseous? <laughs> hey, everybody, we're home! Come on. Yeah, he's here. Hello, everybody! Hey! 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 Oh. <laughs> we missed you, Grandpa. You remember the last time I was here? I told you to call me Papuli? Grandpa means someone who is old and gray. What does Papuli mean? In Greece, it means someone who is old and gray, but it sounds so much better. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm next. Papuli! <laughs> Sarah, you remember me? Of course I do! Joey! <laughs> I'm Danny. I'm, I'm Joey. Of course you are! <laughs> Little Stephanie, oh. oh no, I'm DJ. Of course you are. <laughs> and little Michelle. Oh. Mm. I'm Stephanie. I'm little Michelle. Of course you are. <laughs> and you have no idea who you are. You have no idea who any of us are. So slowly, it's growing weeds. <laughs> My dad said if I can't say anything nice, then I shouldn't say anything at all. But my dad's not here, and you're a weenie. For the championship, ready, go! Thanks. And this year's Downhill Derby Trophy goes to Michelle Tanner! And Becky, I want to share this with you. This is for all the girls who never got to race. Okay, but let's keep it at our house. <laughs> I like you both. How do I decide? I'll give you my bow tie that I got in Texas. This is neat. Well, uh, you could have my scrunchie. Cool. Oh, yeah? I got Snickles. <laughs> I like Snickles. There's only one left. Green? I don't know. Red's my favorite. <laughs> Denise, do you have anything better? All I have is my Princess Jasmine pencil case. That will go great with my Abu eraser. <laughs> Who said you could have this? <laughs> well, don't you want to be my best friend? Not if you take all my stuff. If Teddy wants to give you all his stuff, good for him. <laughs> I don't want to. I love that tie. And it looks really good on you, too. <laughs> Think so? Give me back my tie. <laughs> and I want my scrunchie back. Snickle? <laughs> Wait a minute. Now who's gonna be my best friend? Not me. Not me. You know, I like green Snickles. I'm your man. <laughs> How did that happen? Dad? Not now, Michelle. He's starting to weaken. I'm sorry, Steph. No sale. Your curfew remains the same. Thanks a lot, Michelle. It's not her fault. 
I know, but if I get mad at you, my curfew will be before hers. Hey, honey. What's up? I can't do my best friend project. Why not? Because I don't have a best friend. That was a key element. What happened? Well, everything would have been fine if Teddy had red snickles. Well, what do red snickles have to do with it? More importantly, what, what exactly is a snickle? I try to be fair to make the best friend with the best stuff. Teddy gave me his tie, and Denise gave me her scrunchie. Is a scrunchie like a snickle? Dad, stay with me. I'm trying to, Michelle. I'm trying to get a handle on this, but it, it sounds to me like you were making people give you weird-sounding stuff to try to get them to be your best friend. I didn't make them. They wanted to. Then they got mad at me. Well, maybe you should apologize to Teddy and Denise. I can't believe you're on their side. It's not that I'm on their side, honey. It, it sounds to me like you're trying to take advantage of the situation. And I think maybe you should say you're sorry. Do I have to? No. I'm not going to force you to apologize. I think you're old enough to decide for yourself. Good. I decide not to. <laughs> I practice now? <laughs> Later. Dad said we have to clean up because tonight Mr. Bond's coming over for an inspection. What's he inspecting for? Well, he has to check everything out, make sure it's perfect or else he won't buy the house. You know, make sure the foundation is straight, there are no leaks, and especially that there's no infestation. What's infestation? You know, vermin. <laughs> Disgusting stuff like termites, rats, silverfish, roaches. Ew. Ew. Exactly. But don't worry, Dad's devoted his life to keeping vermin out of the house. Except Kimmy. I don't want to move. I like that we all live together. <laughs> then you better flunk that inspection. How do we do that? We're your friends. We'll help you. We need a plan. Let's put our heads together. Ow. Hello? I'd like to order some vermin. <laughs> Ew. Thanks anyways. Bye. What do you say? They don't sell them. They only kill them. <laughs> we need another plan. Okay. But keep away from my head. <laughs>